Lincoln Beach Center, 500, 30 second month's term, 6,000. I'm really nervous now. Why? I don't know, my, fit, my stomach just feels sick. Yeah, rather than move. All the people in here accommodation are going to this accommodation. So it's the same people. So that somebody's going to help you move? Yeah. Either that or we'll, we'll come back. Or you can stay here but it's dearer. Well I would imagine yeah. it's a studio so it looks quite big. Hi, student accommodation is not ready. So we're moving into a different accommodation for a few days. So that's annoying. I'm gonna have to move twice if I want to go to Viking House. Why are you watching? Is that you? you went, is that where you go to university? Me there? Do you know whereabouts you go to? I think there's a few different buildings that I go to, but. Luckily, the rest of my flat are actually moving into the same accommodation. So, two apartments aren't ready. Oh, yours? Yeah. So, so everybody else is staying there then? Um, yeah. This is my temporary room. It's actually, it's two grand more expensive than my other one and look at the state the of the yeah. bathroom. <laughs> there you first move. Cameras, iPads, laptops. Is that everything? No, That's it. It is, isn't it? Yeah. How exciting. It looks so ugly because of all the shopping bags. <laughs> accommodation that I'm going to be moving back into we're gonna probably go to someone's kitchen and room and pre-drink there later yeah. so I thought while my parents are out getting me a kettle I would give a little room tour this is this is a temporary room so this is my um, toilet by the way I'm talking quiet because I'm very aware that these walls are thin. Um, so I've got my like tissue roll, sanitary products, um, bleach, like freshener, um, and those clean things, I don't know what they are. Um, and I've got, oh god, you can see me. I've got like my mouthwash, hair products, toothbrush, I need something to hold that. Um, earbuds, more hair stuff, face wash, um, an extra toothbrush in case anyone stays around and needs one um, and then deodorant um, and then my shower I've got like cleaning stuff up there and then all my shampoos uh, and conditioners down there which that should be down there as well actually then I've got I've got a mop, I didn't buy this, I've got a sweeping brush and a mop down the side of there and then I've got some towels hung up there um, so yeah that's the bathroom and I've got this mirror which blocks light from the window which is amazing because now I can't do my makeup in it or whatever um, I have quite a big wardrobe and in here I've got nothing up there uh, this is like mainly skirts, joggers and leggings, jeans and like uh, trousers things. A few tops that I don't want to put on hangers and this is a bag of my shoes and I'm keeping it in a bag because I'm moving back out within a week so. 
here I've got all my uh, jumpers, a rain mat, um, and a few outfits that I wanted to hang up as well. So in the kitchen area, I've just got some sparkling lemon water and that's a box to put my lamp back in when I move out and this is my decorative stuff and I'm not getting it out because obviously I'm moving back to what the accommodation I should have originally been in so I'm not going to get it out and decorate my room. I've got like two chairs, my sink, um, I've got a microwave, fridge, freezer, whichever one's which, I don't know, oven and hob and thing, uh, nothing under there. Um, some bits under there. Some cutlery. Uh, have I got anything in the fridge, freezer? No. So, what's this? This one's the fridge, so I've got my wines in there, which is a necessity. What else is in here? Yep, yeah, that's quite full. And that one's quite full as well. And then I've got a bin. This, I suppose, comfy chair. And then I've got my desk with quite a lot of shelving. Um, a lot of drawer space and obviously a lot, quite a bit of desk space and then this little bedside table as well as obviously my bed and a little lamp above it. This is temporary and I'm glad it is because my other accommodation seems to look quite a lot nicer. So I'm quite excited to move in there and actually get everything out and sorted. I'm just waiting for my parents to bring me back a kettle because my Grandma gave my mum some money to buy me a kettle. Just thought I'd mention this little, this little box that we got um, when we moved in. It's got like loads of leaflets and stuff like that. Pure gym, voucher, whatever. Bars of Hershey's and some Reese's. And we also got like a, a bottle of hot sauce and a noodle, like, what's it called? Mugshot. Say hello, Josh. Welcome to the vlog. Hello. Me and Josh are gonna go and get our wristbands and mum and dad are dropping us off there and then leaving Lincoln. How do you feel, mum? I think it's quite obvious how mum <laughs> Band. One's for Lovedale and one's including 15 events. Oh, wait, don't, spray too much joking, we'll don't do I that. Do it in the bathroom if anywhere. Now I'm going to go and meet some of my flatmates. Um, we'll go into one of their rooms because obviously we don't have a common area because we have a kitchen to ourselves. So we're going to one of their rooms. I don't know if I should take alcohol because I don't know if they're drinking. My mum was really upset to leave me, which I obviously expected, but... Josh is going to go back to his friend's accommodation and we're both going to the same event tonight, but I just wanted some time alone with my flatmates so that I can get to know them as me instead of getting to know them as me and Josh, like a couple. I just wanted to meet them as an individual. I'm going to leave my camera. Uh, here while I'm at the phone party, but I will definitely video on my phone. Why are you looking at me? Shit. <laughs> what the fuck? This is like rose, really, really cheap rose, so I put like half and half of cherry aid in it. Don't judge me. That's not a normal thing to do, I don't think. Josh is now leaving, aren't you, Josh? Yeah. And I'm going to meet you really not? everyone. Wish me luck. <laughs>
It's 11.56 and I enrolled at quarter past nine. They didn't have my student ID card, so they had to print me one. And it's not great because it's a little bit like blurry and not very good printing. I went shopping, bought a mirror and some sweets and stuff. And now Josh is making bacon and tomatoes in my shitty little kitchen. My head kind of hurts from last night a little bit. But it was really, it was really fun last night. I just thought I'd update you because it's now half past four. Didn't end up going to Freshers Fair because just couldn't be last. I've sat and watched Mystery Monday by Bella Fiore. Now I'm gonna have a nap. I don't wanna go out feeling this tired because I feel really tired. And tonight is the zoo party, so I'm quite excited for it, but I just need a nap. I just I think the last time that I filmed <clears throat> was before my nap. So I did that. Um went in the shower. Now I've curled my hair. Um, I'm going to get ready at one of my future flatmates because she's from the original place where I was supposed to stay. I think like quite a lot of our original flatmates aren't going out tonight. I'm gonna go get ready at hers in about 10 minutes, five minutes. I should really start packing my makeup. I think I mine literally just save my Snapchat story and upload it as the next part of the vlog so look forward to that. I've just got back from um, the animal party. When I tried to leave for the party, my door wouldn't lock, so um, I came because it like locks on its own, but it wouldn't do it. So I came back inside the room, like slammed it on myself. And then when I tried to leave the room, it like almost locked me in, but I managed to get out. When I've like come back to get in my room, the door, the lock would not open. I've literally just had to get like security to come and help me. And it's like the bottom bit of my door gets stuck and prevents it from like opening or shutting. So, what else is literally going to happen because everything seems to be going wrong. I'm being really quiet because it's like past two in the morning and also I don't want people to think I'm like talking to myself or something. So, I need something to eat. Spaghetti. I think I'm going to go for pasta. Again. I'm just going to eat my pasta and then go to sleep because I'm not good. And I don't have to be up early tomorrow, so that's great. Today is society's fair, so I'm going to go probably join Musical Theatre Society and the Biomedical Science Society. And maybe more if I see them, but it depends. I can't get any good lighting at all. In one minute, I'm supposed to be meeting my flatmates <clears throat> to go out for food at Weatherspoons, and then we're gonna head to the quiz. I'm really tired. Yeah, I'm supposed to be there now. It should be fun though. I won't know any of the answers. I don't know, it'll be nice for us all to go out together tonight because last night quite a few people stayed in together and then only three of us actually went out. And then after the um, quiz I think we're going back to Spoons for some more drinks and then some people are doing a pub crawl, some aren't. I haven't decided if I am yet. So since I got back from my talk earlier, um, like I met my tutor and my small, it's supposed to be eight people in a group but I think three or four of them didn't turn, no three of them didn't turn up. And I've just been watching like Bella Fiore and some Sophia and Chintzia as well. So yeah, I'm gonna go out now. Obviously, I'm late.
My face is greasy as shit. We basically did shit in the quiz and then we went to Spoons and had one drink. Then we went and took a detour and checked out Viking House accommodation. We need to shut the door to see if it was completed. And it still looks like a building site, so. The chances of us moving in tomorrow is slim, but we have that meeting, so we've made like uh, a list of points to mention in the meeting. There's like loads of things that we're going to mention, like complain about. But yeah, that's for tomorrow. And I've just invited Josh round to stay at mine tonight so he doesn't have to stay on the floor. Yeah, so I went. Me and my flat and a few other flats as well <coughs> have just been for this meeting about accommodation. Head of accommodation was giving us like shitty answers, not actually answering our question. We had um student union with us luckily like they helped our case a lot and like asked the right questions and stuff like that the guy basically said that we're going to be moving in on saturday but obviously like last night we went and looked at the accommodation that we're supposed to be in and um, through the windows and like through the letterbox because it doesn't have a proper letterbox in it yet and it does not look like it's going to be finished by saturday but the students union are basically like really trying to sort it out for us um they said like you won't be paying for your first semester, that's a given. So they're gonna sort that out for us, which is great because, like, it has kind of ruined our freshers experience slightly. Like, but we've made the most out of it. Like, I come into my kitchen and my friends aren't sat there, like most other people will be, unless you've purposely booked a studio apartment. Like, the, the kitchen is your bonding area and like, your like living space is your bonding area. We <clears throat> we are like isolated on our own which is really shit but the students union have, have like they've arranged for us all to meet I think I'm like in the swan so we can all like have a bit like get to know each other like, that'll be all like our prius tonight so that's good and then we've got the beach party so I'm really excited for that I think I'm just gonna heat this whatever probably have a donut as well I have a Biscoff one which I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna go to Primark and get like some like comfier clothes uh, baggy tops and leggings and um, probably some more socks as well yeah but I'm gonna try this doing this I've never done it before I don't really know what I'm doing and then um, <clears throat> ring my mom and my grandparents as well I'm about to head out shopping on my own. I don't know what time I'll be back, but I need to shower and wash my hair because it's actually a bird's nest because of the wind. I'm back from town and I basically didn't, I didn't buy a tea towel that I needed and I didn't buy things that I needed. I just bought this handbag from River Island because I had a £20 voucher thing. This skirt from H&M with like the circle buckle. And this blouse as well from H&M. These from Primark because I don't have any flats that aren't scuffed to death. Two pairs of cheap leggings. The XXL top for the UV paint party. Capri Suns. Gold premium latte thing. Ham. Straws. Three of these for a pound. And that's it. And now I'm gonna make some food and then get in the shower and then start getting ready for um, quack and then beach pie.
I was meant to film earlier but basically in the meeting that we had today at four um they basically confirmed that we're moving in on saturday we're viewing the houses at uh, the place tomorrow on friday we get loads of like six um like cardboard boxes tomorrow to help us pack and then we just like label the boxes and the removal company is going to come on saturday 10 a.m or, or something i think it's 10 a.m and just move all our stuff into Viking House as long as we're happy with it tomorrow so um oh yeah so we're, we're not paying our first semester that's confirmed we're not paying till January so we went spoons after the meeting and just like had some food I just had like halloumi and and some chicken breast bites and basically now is the glitter party as you can probably tell um and we're going to the common room um which is actually above reception we're gonna go pre-drink there and then i think we're going to what whose concert is it professor green and fuse odg, odg their the concert for that i'll probably put some uh, footage from a story into this video yes yeah, so it's professor green and fuse odg and then we're going to the glitter party after that so that's exciting i'm, I'm very happy I'm today yeah, Josh is staying. Josh is not going out. He's like doing some like work or something. He's gonna have to wait up for me. Enjoy this following footage of my story, I guess.
the video you've just seen is um, of when I went to view the house so I think it's really good I really like it um, and we're moving in tomorrow morning so this is literally like how I'm living currently all those boxes um, like everything's pretty much packed up like cupboards are empty I'm leaving little sticky notes saying empty on the ones that I've actually fully emptied tonight we're going to spoons so that should be really good uh, we have like all these vouchers for like really cheap drinks and pictures and all that stuff so I don't know if I'm going to go out tonight it's like a neon rave but we've got to get up really early tomorrow well not really early like nine o'clock is the move in time so it's kind of early don't really want to only get a few hours sleep um, so I don't think I'm going to go out I think I'm going to come back sorry for the inconsistency of like the amount of filming that I'm doing for this video it's just because I'm trying to sell in and have fun and stuff at the same time as I wanted to make a video but yeah I don't think there'll be too much um, drinking done tonight but we will be on Saturday when we moved in so that's good we're